All right, boys, current situation. We are at Steve's Fab Shop. We're about to see some Detroit Speed Parts installed in the Project 79. Check it out. <laughs> Dang, Steve, you've been busy. It's factory, home. That is freaking awesome. All right, guys, we're going to get in here and check out what Steve's been up to. All right, guys, starting at the bottom, Steve, what are we... Uh... Well, we went all the way back to the frame, and we had to cut it out right here. Yeah. And then yeah. we closed it back in, boxed it back in, and here's where we cut the rivets off, holding all your spring buckets and right. all that stuff off. And then we... This normally goes straight, but we heated it up, rolled it around, and... Uh, Man, that looks great. So you went, you went all the way. You don't have to go no, that they, deep, but. This is not what they recommended doing or whatever you want to say. This wasn't the two inches. Right. We went all the way back and had to notch a frame. And as you can see right here, we didn't have to cut any off the outside of our tub where they cut it off in theirs. Yeah. Man, and, I'm talking uh, about, you can put some tire up under here now. We trimmed it off and welded her straight there. That is awesome. So you can do it several different ways, but you went, you wanted all the meat under yeah, here. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> you know, you're cutting the spring bucket off anyway, so. Right, yeah. And then. <laughs> See, but yeah, you got them. They look almost factory. You know, yeah. like the way they're made, they really do. And then you've already got the hinge mounts back on them. Yeah, well, I'm done with them. I'm done with them, I ain't doing nothing this time. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're. Yeah. That's good, it's ready to. I'm ready now to put when the you weld this in. right here, it sucks because when these two seams are glued together, yep. so when you try to put heat on it, that stuff runs out and you weld, it's not <laughs> going to be pretty, or mine ain't. <laughs> and then you can't see it to top it off. So. Right, yeah. Heck yeah. Of course, the cool thing is once the interior and everything's back in it, I mean, it's not yeah, like you're going to see them anyway. But. Yeah, it's probably gonna need a little trimming, but but it's a lot more. It's man, it's so much better. I don't know. Can you incorporate them pictures? Yeah, 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 guys. He's got. He sent me several pictures of it, uh, which I'm gonna drop those in here, here and there. But here's the uh, here's the original cut right here. So you got your shock mount right there. But oh man, looking good. All right, guys. So we're we're looking here, just kind of at the job, and this obviously is, this is where we took the X out. Okay, yeah, the X brace. I forgot about that, guys. It's it's right here, that brace in the back. Um, you know, but just talking about, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you gotta cut that out. And it's just got spot welds, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I definitely recommend getting the spot weld cutter. Okay. That was one thing. You see, I got these holes. I didn't have a spot weld cutter when I started, and uh, definitely a help. Yeah, I bought a daggum twenty dollar one off <laughs> off of Amazon. So as far as you know, you this is what you do. I mean, is is the average Joe gonna come in here? I mean, obviously you're most gonna people to, aren't gonna have the specialty tools. You're gonna have to build. You're gonna have to know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm the average fabricator. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just take well you take and cut right on this seam pretty much mm -hmm. and cut that off but your line here that's where you really you gotta be careful you gotta be careful as you can see you can see the frame narrowing up right there right to where it gets in and we cut it off yeah uh, so you got that piece you, if you if you come all the way out full tub you, you're cutting part of the frame off in the back and mm -hmm. You know, which you you know you you got the option to do less which would save you some work but still i mean it's man ain't no way i'd do less yeah i mean if you're going in if you're go gonna bigger. weld all this up you're not <laughs> weld the frame up you know you take cut you a piece of metal and put back in it and if, right. you, if you're careful when you cut it out you could reuse the piece you take out yeah for the most most part definitely oh uh, it's it's a job but if you take your time cutting it out, make sure you get that right. It's going to take two people. You're not doing it with one person. Yeah. And uh, I, the average welder could do it. Mm -hmm. 
You're not going to learn how to weld and do this at the same time. Yeah, you're probably, probably not the best yeah. idea. You know, it ain't like a four pan, you know, a four pan, you cut it out and you put a spot down and you weld right, right back around it. Yeah. When you go cutting this out. You better be right. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, but you can stretch them. We stretched them some. So your hole gets too big or your hole's too little. But mm -hmm. I really, I really think if, uh, they could bend that lip on the bottom like we made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way you're ready to cut that down. thing out and slide it right up to the frame. Mm -hmm. And just weld it then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That'd make it easier. Definitely. And it the way good. he rolled that over, that helps with your little, if you get too wide or too narrow on your, and you, you got can, a little gap. Yeah. You that gives that you a piece of metal too. behind that you can weld up to. Definitely. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it was quite the choice. <laughs> Alright guys, so just to give you a kind of an idea as far as I've had a lot of people asking about the interior trim. Get that all the way out of the way. You are gonna have to trim it, obviously. Let's see here. Yeah. Now, actually, that's look at that. That's not well that's not that's not. Okay, but yeah. To, you're gonna so, have to cut it to here. So trim it down there. Yeah. But the top goes to this. Right, it, it clears it at the top. Well, I'm and how how can't. far is your seat gonna go up? It's gonna go up pretty good ways down there. Uh, I'm guessing right here. I'm, yeah, I somewhere. Didn't have the seat to start with. Yeah. So I mean, you are gonna have to do some trimming, but again, you know, he took it all the way, so you know, it's a little. You don't have to go this deep. You might as well, but. Um, you always want to go as deep as you can. Yeah. <laughs> No pun. No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. But yeah, you're gonna have to trim. But I mean, hey, you want mini tubs? Go big or go home. I think you could hide it. Yeah, I do too. Look at her go. She's gonna be a professional skater and YouTuber. <laughs> no, you did good. Skating is not easy. It requires lots of balance. <laughs> All right, guys, one other thing Steve's Fab Shop got going here. You're not fabbing anything. You're just training. Tron oh, Tron Power Customs. I got you. Well, it's it's at Steve's Fab Shop. But got no end of uh, cool, interesting stuff over here. All, like, hand-built bed, fenders, everything. Holly Sniper EFI. That's pretty cool, and I'm not even a Chevy guy, you know? <laughs> the hand, I love the, the pinstriping, that's super cool. And you said it's a 98 Chevy chassis? Ah. Very cool, and I thought it was carbureted, then I looked a little closer. Super cool, and this is all rattle can patina, guys, so. Just think you can't do anything because you don't know how to paint a car, this is all hand done. Super cool. Uh, yeah. Guys, uh, Matt over at Eastwood, if he'd holler at me, we'll make that happen. <laughs> Steve, we'll holler at you, buddy. Y'all have a good one. Bye, Sarah. Subframe connectors next. Subframe connectors next. We'll uh, catch that on the next video. Where are they at? Yeah, they're around here somewhere. They're right here. And, uh, Steve's Fab Shop. Steve, you gonna start a Facebook page and start taking work soon? I might, I might do a little work, but I ain't starting on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Through the, we'll be doing the Detroit Speed subframes next. That thing's gonna be solid. Awesome. All right. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> tube front end and what else? Yeah, uh, that this thing will be rock solid. All right, y'all. I better get out of here. Dover's gonna leave me. Y'all have a good afternoon. All right, guys. So let's stop by and check out the Detroit Speed website. Just wanted to give you a quick preview of what they've got going on. Um, just launching the brand new products for the Fox chassis. These are, of course, the subframe connectors, uh, which we uh, will be installing shortly, and then. The other thing I wanted to note, guys, also on their YouTube channel, they've got full detailed installation of these products. So 
while we did the installation, I didn't feel it was necessary to go back and redo exactly what they did. They did a fantastic job by the manufacturer of the product. You're not going to get a better, more detailed installation than that. So stop by their YouTube channel or their, they've got links right here, as you can see on the website. And uh, they, they did a fantastic job. But again, here is the, uh, here's the mini tub kit right here. And then, of course, we'll have the... Uh, We'll have the subframe connectors going in shortly, which is going to be, they're, they're amazing guys. They, they check all the boxes as far as rigidity, tying into the torque boxes, the, uh, the seat bracing, all of that. So we will have uh, those installed here once uh, Steve's Fab Shop gets those knocked out. But just wanted to let you know, stop by, um, you can either stop by DetroitSpeed.com or YouTube for full installation videos. As you can see, they do an amazing job with their installation videos. And uh, the, the products look great. They fit great and uh, could not be happier. All right, guys. So, again, keep it tuned right here. Um, Steve's Fab Shop, they're about to start on the, uh, the subframe connector. So, we'll have all that for you. Um, getting all that stuff installed. It's going to be super cool. And uh, real quick, check out this uh, video of the rear suspension straight from Detroit Speed. They did authorize me to show this, even though I've had to kind of keep it hush-hush. Check it out. All right, so there it is, guys. You can see the level of testing that they're putting the suspension through, and that's why it's taking a little bit longer to release because they want to make sure it's 100% right, but they are out on the track. They're testing the new suspension, and um, once it drops, we'll have it, and it's going in that coupe. It's going to be freaking epic. Um, again, guys, Detroit Speed does, does everything next level. It's going to be super, super nice. And they are raising the bar for, for Fox Chassis cars super excited to be working with those guys so um that is what is up if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button and uh, uh yeah we've got a lot of work to do so later